call from Fluta Ferry. Today we'll be starting a new project called City Cab, and we're starting it from scratch. So I have created a GitHub repository about it here. The main purpose of this is for learning and also about the app is a ride hailing app that works like Uber or if you're you know about boots, it's going to be something like that. Anyway, so let's just get to it. I'll give a brief startup of it, creating a footer project and the repository on GitHub and also talk about the few features we are going to implement because this is an open source project. I like everyone to contribute into to, into this project like I'll be setting out issues and I'll also be asking you guys to add issues to the repository too so we can work on it so everybody can get a right healing app on their portfolio okay let's get to it setting up a footer project I'd like you to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell notification button so you'll be getting notified on every video i'll be uploading pertaining to this course and also you can go to my github account and follow me or you follow me on twitter at the make at the make Hong, and also you can follow me here on github so before we proceed on going to creating our project and connecting it to our version control system we are going to go here into our repositories to create a new one like i want to show you how to create a new repository we have our repository here created already so if you've done how to create a repository on github you can sign up to github first at github.com and also you go to your repositories here and click on the new on clicking on the new you're going to see this repository name here closer to the owner which You'll be shown there and you're going to type in the name of your repository and also you're going to you can give your repository a description of what you're doing on that particular repository of that project and you can actually set your your project either to be public people can see it or to be private only you and some contributors to that project you're going to see it and also you can initialize your repository with a readme file or a git ignore maybe you don't want some people to see some files you can add a git ignore so you don't expose some files to your repository and also you can choose a license based on what you're working on so i've already created a repository for our project which is city cab and here i've not pushed anything yet to our repository which I have some about here is an open source flute app, right? Alien app project for learning purpose, and also the state management we are going to be using is provider and blog. We are going to make this separate. I'm going to be making a separate videos for for the provider parts and for the blog parts, and which is going to be cool. And I've uploaded some issues here that we'll be working on, but firstly. But firstly let's see our app features what are they like so here's our features we are going to be using we're going to add on our app on our city cab app which is this this is the name city cab we're going to have a phone authentication which will be authenticating users from their phone numbers and also from that we registered new users and one of the feature will be user able to select car for a ride users can make instant bookings or instant rides users can edit their profile which is actually for users and drivers and users can can send can receive sms alerts maybe we are going to use some sms api is out there we're going to talk about it when we reach that section and you just can invite new users for on their app which we might add the feature of them actually gaining 
some bonuses or discounts on some particular features in the app which we are going to use firebase dynamic links and also users can users and drivers can track their vehicles we are going to use the location plugins and we'll be firing it will be firing and sending some location to a database maybe in five seconds or every 10 seconds that may be when we get to that area we're going to talk about it more and we're going to be tracking our, our trip and also tracking the cab also we're going to use our location plugin and we're going to use our, our google maps plugin also which we use to display on our map and also we are going to work on the fee and the, the automatic fare calculation well, we're going to write an algorithm for that and also we're going to add the feature all this we are going to work on them on both ios and android so if you're using you're working on it on an android device definitely this course is for you if you're working on it on an ios device everything will be fine and settled and also we see first teammate time on arrival maybe you're about to make a a ride to somewhere around you with, before getting to that place we we'll make a fair a, a see some estimation on the amount you you're going to provide to the driver to give or you, you're going to pay something like that and we're going to add the notification feature for passengers and and drivers also which are the users and driver and also we are going to look at dynamic ui rendering which flutter is going to do that for us also we have android okay not android address history this is user and driver and also we have email alerts think we might use the send with email and um, api and also drivers can be able to accept rides and also cancel rides start and end rides will be seen by users and driver also drivers can contact passenger through chats we are going to embed a, a little chat on our on our app so all these features are going to be working on it every day like two days i'll be posting videos for this two or three days i'll be posting videos and i'll also like you guys to support me on this so we actually get this on our portfolio it's for everyone it's an open source project you can fork the repository and start the repository so you'll be getting news from it you'll be getting infos from it just does it so i have a brief design i did here that can showcase what we are going to do i did some designs on xd so here you will come up launching your app you see the driver and the user let me let me change this to passenger if i can spell passenger okay so this okay if you're you're coming to the app as a driver or as a passenger okay to based on the events that happen there or the click it will take you to this app state and you're going to add your your phone number if you're already a logged a, a user on the app already it's going to take you to the home and if not it's going to try to authenticate you and verify your phone number and on that set up your account your first name last name and email and it's take you to the app home screen so that's what we'll be doing and on that let me create a new Flutter projects, so I'm using Android Studio to create this. So I would like you, if you have not installed Flutter extension on your Android projects, you cannot create a Flutter project if you have not done that, or you might want to use the temp terminal to do that. But if you have done that, this will just pop up here. Create Android, create new Flutter project. You click on it, clicking on it takes it here, and you. You click on next and it takes you here and you give your footer project name i'm going to call it city cab 
I'm going to give a description. Here's the path to our, our app. You can change the paths where the file is going to save on. So we have a description here. We change this to an open source open source ride healing app with flutter okay cool so i'm going to give the organization name so you see the com you might use whatever maybe you have maybe dot maybe it's dot dev or ng or which may be but i'm going to leave it at dot com and i'll provide my organization name which is flutter ferry and the android language we are going to use is kotlin and the ios language we are going to use maybe you might want to add the platform specific codes you might want to add it for ios we'll be using swift if you want to add it for android we'll be using kotlin and the platform is for both android and ios we are not doing anything on web and also you can add the model name or whatever you want to add so you can create your project offline but i have my um, internet turned on and i'll create it with my um, data on and which is online i'm going to click on finish and wait for it it's going to try to create the filter project which has already created it okay and we are in now so i'll explain a bit about the project here so we have our project files here we have our, our android file and also we have our ios file for platform specific things we'll be doing and also we have a lib folder we are all our flutter codes is going to stay and also we have a test file which will be adding tests for most of the unit tests we'll be doing and also our popspec.yml file is here which will be adding whatever thing we'll be adding like some assets maybe fonts different kind of fonts we we'll want to add <coughs> sorry so i'm going to clean this a bit I'm going to clean this a bit so it looks a bit nice. I'm going to clean this to clean this so it doesn't look populated. Okay, clean this so we actually push something nice to our repository. I'm going to I'm going to get this off also clean this off and clean this off too so this can give us example of how to add an asset of fonts so that's it i'll save this file and I'll close it and go to our lib folder and i'll get dependency here so it actually runs okay here's our flutter main file i'm going to clean it a bit so we can push out a nice code to our version control system which is our github and also we can clean this as well clean that as well we can get rid of the increments which is on the can get rid of that and rid of everything here just leave it clean scaffold here and that's it okay save that okay so we have some minimal code here and i'll try to initialize our github our git in this because we have not initialized git so we cannot and um, push our code to our version control system so i'm going to initialize git 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 init so we have initialized our 
our project for git and we are going to add everything git add all let's see our status git status to see so here are the files we have initialized and added to our project so i'm going to clean this clear and i'm going to commit this with going to commit this this is how to commit it git commit dot m with some quotes and you add your message okay first commit and now we are going to paste this code that git pull origin master allow unrelated history since we already have some histories here which is not related to our, our flutter app so we'll type in that code and we're going to do this and it will say already up to date and we are going to try to push and going to push this and wait for it okay it's pushing okay cool let's go to uh okay cool everything is set up now yes everything city cab and open source everything is set uh that, that project is on github so now you can actually go there and clone it to your um, machine and i will add you as a contributor and you can get this up on our portfolio we can get it on our portfolio so thank you for watching this i'm going to upload a new video in one day to come and i hope and that was we'll talk about us creating models and connecting our app to firebase so i have issues here i'll be working on and it will make sense if you can also be doing things like this if you have time you can do it and make a pull request and we we'll talk on it i feature you on the video and we do things together so thank you for watching i hope to see you next time and stay tuned by subscribing to this channel so you'll be getting infos and notifications pertaining to these videos thank you for subscribing and god bless you